a 70-year-old married a 20-year-old. A year after the wedding the couple arrives at the delivery room. A male boy weighing 3.5 kilograms was born, healthy and beautiful. The nurse asks the old man yours? Yes, the old man replies proudly. Congratulations, the nurse replies. Well, says the old man, the old engine still runs. Two years later the duo arrives at the delivery room again. A 3.5 kilograms girl was born, healthy and beautiful. The nurse asks the old man, yours? Yes, the old man answers. Well done, the nurse answers. The engine still runs, said the old man. After two more years, they come to the delivery room again. A 3.5-year-old male son is born, healthy and beautiful. The nurse asks the old man, yours? Yes, the old man replies. Congratulations, the nurse says, that's really impressive. Well, says the old man, the engine is still running. Well, says the nurse, you may want to change the oil, the last one came out black. <laughs> A blind man was describing his favorite sport, parachuting. When asked how this was accomplished, he said that things were all done for him. I am placed in the door with my seeing eye dog and told when to jump. My hand is placed on my release ring for me and out I go with the dog. But how do you know when you are going to land, he was asked. I have a very keen sense of smell and I can smell the trees and grass when I am 300 feet from the ground, he answered. But how do you know when to lift your legs for the final arrival on the ground, he was again asked. He quickly answered, oh, the dog's leash goes slack. <laughs> Doctor's son, hello, old man. What's the matter? You're looking glum. Doctor, no wonder. I'm attending that wealthy Mr. Golddig, you know, and I've sent him the wrong medicine. Son, indeed. Is it a serious blunder? Doctor, very, very serious. The medicine I've sent him will cure him in two days. <laughs> this woman rushed to see her doctor, looking very much worried and all strung out. She rattles off, doctor, take a look at me. When I woke up this morning, I looked at myself in the mirror and saw my hair all wiry and frazzled up, my skin was all wrinkled and pasty, my eyes were bloodshot and bugging out, and I had this corpse-like look on my face. What's wrong with me, doctor? The doctor looks her over for a couple of minutes, then calmly says, well, I can tell you that there ain't nothing wrong with your eyesight. A man sitting at a bar after work shares with the bartender why he is looking so stressed, I'm not sleeping well. I have nightmares about a monster under my bed and I am too embarrassed to seek help. A patron nearby overhears this and introduces himself, I overheard your story and I am a psychiatrist. Maybe I can help. The first thing is you recognize these are only dreams, and that is obvious so I should be able to help you in a few sessions. Here's my card, give me a call. A few weeks pass and the same two are once again at the bar after work. The psychiatrist says to the other guy, Hi, how goes the nightmares? I never heard from you so I hope you are doing okay. The other guy says, Things are great, the bartender helped me. Psychiatrist, the bartender helped you? You needed a trained professional to help you. What possibly could a bartender do that a psychiatrist couldn't? The other guy says, he told me to saw the legs off my bed. <laughs> there once was a blind man who decided to visit Texas. When he arrived on the plane, he felt the seats and said, wow, these seats are big. The person next to him answered, everything is big in Texas. When he finally arrived in Texas, he decided to visit a bar. Upon arriving in the bar, he ordered a beer and got a mug placed between his hands. He exclaimed, wow, these mugs are big. 
The bartender replied, everything is big in Texas. After a couple of beers, the blind man asked the bartender where the bathroom was located. The bartender replied, second door to the right. The blind man headed for the bathroom, but accidentally tripped over and skipped the second door. Instead, he entered the third door, which lead to the swimming pool and fell into the pool by accident. Scared to death, the blind man started shouting, don't flush, don't flush. <laughs> a monster went to the doctor with a branch growing out of his head. Hmm, said the doctor. I've no idea what it is. The next week the branch was covered in leaves and blossom. I'm stumped, said the doctor, but you can try taking these pills. When the monster came back a month later the branch had grown into a tree, and just a few weeks later he developed a small pond, surrounded by trees and bushes, all of them on top of his head. Ah, said the doctor, I know what it is. You've got a beauty spot. A husband and wife sat down at their table at a coffee shop in New York City. The wife saw a pretty young woman sitting at a table and wearing the most gorgeous pair of shoes she's ever seen. I'd love to know where that lady got those shoes, she said to her husband. Maybe I should ask her. The husband raises a hand. Allow me, my love. The wife beams at him. What a gentleman. Thanks, sweetie. The husband walked over to the young woman and asked, where did you get those shoes? I got them in a store just around the corner from here, replied the woman. Nice. How much were they? Oh, around $500. Thanks for letting me know. The husband returned to his table and said to his wife, she got her shoes in Los Angeles. A man is walking through the woods, and he finds a magic lamp on the ground. Instinctively, he picks the lamp up, rubs the side of it with his sleeve, and out pops a genie. The genie thanks the man for freeing him, and offers to grant him three wishes. The man is ecstatic and knows exactly what he wants. First, says the man, I want a billion dollars. The genie snaps his fingers and a briefcase full of money materializes out of thin air. The man is wide-eyed in amazement and continues, Next, I want a Ferrari. The genie snaps his fingers and a Ferrari appears from a puff of smoke. The man continues, Finally, I want to be irresistible to women. The genie snaps his fingers and the man promptly turns into a box of chocolates. Hey, there, I put a lot effort into making these videos so please subscribe for more jokes and stay happy, thank you.